What's up, guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my March 2024 dividend income. And to start the video, my portfolio is currently at $57,438. So let's get right into this dividend income. So in the month of, Mar in the month of March, I earned 13 paychecks. However, in my recent videos, I've mentioned that I've sold a lot of stocks. So quite a few of the stocks on this list I no longer own. But let's get started with this. So on March 1st, I received two dividends, $5.86 from American Waterworks, and then $13.17 from Pfizer. Now this puts me at $19.03 for the month on the 1st. And then on March 5th, I received $6.16 from Johnson & Johnson. That puts me at $25.19 for the month. And then on March 6th, I received $16 from Southern Co., which puts me at $41.19 for the month. And then on March 11th, I received $11.93 from IBM. So this is one of the stocks I sold in Pfizer. I also sold, but this puts me at $53.12 for the 11th. Then on the 14th, I received $3.08 from Microsoft, putting me at $56.92. And then on the 15th, I received $7.80 from Kellogg's or Kellanova, which I sold. And then $19.87 from Realty Income, which puts me at $84.59 for the month. And let's look at my stocks. So American Waterworks, I have just under $1,700 in this stock. I did buy some new shares, so I currently have 13.95 shares. Average price of $140.16, and I am down on this stock, current price $120.38. But this is a great utility company to own. It's been around over 100 years. They grow their dividend around 10% every single year. So that's what I'm looking for, that high dividend growth. Ideally, I'd like anything 7% and above but they do have a dividend yield 2.38%. So kind of low, but once again, I'm looking at dividend growth, that's the big picture. So with Johnson & Johnson, I have just over $1,000 in this stock. I have 7.03 shares. I bought a little bit more of this stock. Current average price of $147.60. So you can see that I'm a little up. It's at $152.50. And then they have a decent dividend yield, around 3.09%. Now, Johnson & Johnson, they don't usually grow their dividend that crazy every year. But another thing that I like in my portfolio are solid, stable stocks. And that is what Johnson & Johnson is. So I will be keeping this one in my portfolio for the, for, for the foreseeable future. Next up, we have Southern Co., Another utility company, I have just over $1,600 and I have 22.85 shares at an average share price of $57.14. I am up because the price is $70.05. And then they do have a pretty good dividend yield of 3.94%. And they're another company, they don't have really high dividend growth. They're under my goal of 7%. However, they're a solid, stable company. You need your utilities. So that's one of the reasons I'm going to hold on to this stock. Next up, we have Microsoft, which just over $2,100. I have 5.06 shares. I don't believe I bought any more of this stock. And my current average share price is $221.07. And I'm up a lot, almost double, with a current price of $417.88. And they do have a really low dividend yield of 0.68%. However, they have high dividend growth. Usually, they grow their dividend by 9.8% every single year. They've been doing that for the past few years since I've owned them. So I'm definitely going to keep Microsoft. And this is also one of the best companies in the world, as you can see. Their market cap is 3.1 trillion with a T. That is insane. And then next up is Realty Income. I clicked off of it, but I have just over $4,900. 
just the other day, I swear I had $5,000 in this stock, but that's fine. What matters is the amount of shares you own. And I've recently bought a lot of shares of Realty Income. Currently have 93.75 shares at an average price of $55.41. So I am down because the current price is $55.62. However, they have a high dividend yield at 5.82%. And they grow, they pay monthly, they grow their dividend. However, it's been slower dividend growth, but this is a solid, stable company. Once again, it's one of the best REITs to own. On the 18th, I received $13.09 from Duke Energy, which puts me at $97.68 for the month. And then on the 21st, I received $8.99 from Home Depot, which puts me at $106.67. And then SCHD gave me $141.48 on the 25th, putting me at $248.15. And then on the 28th, I received two dividends, $2.51 from Waste Management, and then $22.82 from DLR, Digital Realty Trust. However, I did sell that stock. And then I'll reveal my monthly total for March 2024 once I review the last few stocks that I own. So first up with Duke Energy, I have just over $1,200. I have 12.77 shares at an average price of $88.32, a current price of $96.12. So I have gone up a little bit and they have a high, <clears throat> high dividend yield at 4.25%. This is just like Southern Company, Duke doesn't increase their dividend that much, but they're a utility company, they're stable. That's why I own them as well. Next up, we have Home Depot, just over $1,400, 3.99 shares, an average price of $287.40. I am up on this stock with the current price of $357.68. And then my dividend yield is 2.37%, which is really good for Home Depot's high dividend growth rate. Next up, we have SCHD. So I, ha I have just over $18,400 in this ETF. I have 233.92 shares, an average price of $73.45, and a current price of $78.73. So I'm back in the green on this stock. Earlier this year, I was negative, but SCHD, they have a 3.36% dividend yield and they have high dividend growth. It was sitting around 12 to 13%, but after the reconstitution, we'll have to see what their average dividend growth rate ends up being for this year and into the future. And then finally, my last stock to review, Waste Management, just over $1,600. I did buy more of this stock. I have 7.9 shares. Average share price of $187.58. Current price $207.09. So I am up on this stock. And they do have a low dividend yield, 1.35%. However, they have solid dividend growth rate at about 7% or a little bit over. And this is a great recession-proof stock to own as well. I'm glad I finally bought Waste Management. I should have bought them years before. But now we can go on to my dividend growth chart. As you can see in March, 2024, I earned $273.48. And so currently my total dividend income for 2024 is $555.06. And then these numbers over here on the side, they don't really matter anymore because of all the stocks I sold. I'm gonna have to wait until the end of Q3 to figure out, you know, exactly how much dividend income I'm earning per month. But I took the first three months of 2024 and I was comparing them to the first three months of 2023. One thing to keep in mind in 2023, I did still own QYLD and JEPI and I believe RYLD. So my dividend income for the first quarter of 23 was $570.92. My dividend income for the first quarter of 2024 
And then when you divide that by three, you get my average dividend income for the first three months at $178.27. Of course, $40 from this first quarter was from Costco special dividend. So over time, my dividend income would have gone down eventually. But with that being said, I will see you guys next month for the April 2024 dividend income video. And also, if you go into the description, you'll see some links for some books. They The links go to Amazon. You don't have to buy the books, but if you know that you're going to buy something off Amazon, I would appreciate it if you use my link. You can always click on the link to the book and then just go and search your product. That link lasts for 24 hours hours all i'm trying to do is make about three sales before the end of september but anyways if you guys can help out if you made it this far into the video i would appreciate that so i'll see you next time